This is a video about how to actually use SageMaker. So within the SageMaker universe, there's a bunch of amazing tools to get started. SageMaker Studio, SageMaker Labs, the original SageMaker Notebook, etc. You don't have to use any of those things. And in fact, it's probably not the best option or it's not the most common option for actually standard core SageMaker usage. Why is that? Well, what does SageMaker do? What's the core problem it solves? It, it allows, it automates the process of spinning up expensive compute instances for ML. It makes it easier for us to train models, serve models, and store all the information. And then most importantly, this is the key, it deletes everything or helps us delete everything when we're done so we don't waste money. So with that said, I, where should we run SageMaker? Should we figure out Studio, Lab, etc.? I like to follow the Brandon Rhodes rule, Brandon Rhodes, Python expert. Among other things, he wrote this great book, Python for Networking. Even if you don't care about networking, which you should, because we're in the cloud, so we're surreptitiously conscripted into being network admins to a certain extent. Um, even if you don't care about it, chapter one is amazing. And one of the things he goes over is he's like, when you're using Python, basically no matter what for, but in his context, networking, the best way to solve a problem or the, pro the way you're probably gonna come across most things is find a Python package that does what you want, learn enough about that to be able to troubleshoot a little bit and then just get your work done. So in our case, what does that mean for SageMaker? It means we use the Python SDK for SageMaker. This is our entry point. So we don't need to go into SageMaker Studio or SageMaker Notebook. You can if you want to. We just need to install the Python SDK. It's a Python package. And then we're gonna follow three relatively simple, There's a, there can be definitely complexity here, but we essentially need to do three things to actually train a model. We'll write a script, train dot, we'll call it train.py, this is gonna be our actual model training script. We'll tell SageMaker, hey, we wanna instantiate a specific thing, a SageMaker estimator. It will take our train script, and then we're just gonna call fit on that estimator, just like we would with a scikit-learn estimator or with a TensorFlow model or something like that. So we'll get into examples of this, you know I'm gonna show some demos of it, but the core idea being, how do we use SageMaker? There's so many different ways to get started. I see a lot of confusion and complexity there. Those are great tools, but it's unnecessary for the person who's getting started or specifically for the person thinking about this from a software engineering perspective. You have a Python package, install the Python package, start building, build your train script, create your estimator, inst instantiate your estimator, call dot fit, you're rocking and rolling. And we can do this from anywhere, local machine, CI server, et cetera.